Today I'm going to show you how to make an instrument in Logic Pro 10 out of pretty much any sound. Uh, let's jump right in. Blah, blah. All right, so I got Logic loaded up here. I got this little pop sound. Just a, like a cork bottle pop sound. So the first thing I'm going to do is control click or right click and then hit convert to new sampler track. Make sure that regions is selected here and in trigger note range, make sure you put this to C1. If you don't, it'll default to like minus C2 and it'll just be way down on the keyboard and it's just annoying. So select set trigger note range to C1 and hit OK. And what that's going to do is put it into a sampler instrument, which is the ESX24. Um, and if I hit, let's see, yeah, it defaults to C1 on the piano roll, but it's not on the other keys. So what you do is go into the ESX24, go to edit, and you'll see that it's only this little blue thing right on the C1. So I grab the left, the right side of it, drag it all the way up the keys, grab the left side, drag it all the way down the keys, and now, See, it's on the whole keyboard. But when I hit C, that might not actually be a C note that we're hearing because the re sound that we recorded, we don't know what note it is. So I'm gonna go to audio effects on the channel where the sampler is. Audio effects, metering, tuner. So now I have tuner opened up. See, it's actually playing like an F sharp. So what I wanna do to fix that is go up here where it says C1. Move this around until, and play the note until you actually get a C coming out of that. Until the tuner reads C. Okay, so now it's hitting at an actual C. So when it exit, it's save, and so you can see that it's not really like perfectly on C. It's saying that it's a little sharp. So there's a fine tuner right here in the sampler. If I want it to be even closer to a perfect C, I'm gonna move that around. Uh, the tuner's being kind of whack right now, but just get it close enough to where it's a, an actual C note coming out. Okay, so now, I have a basic like instrument out of any random sound. So I can close the tuner, um, but that sounds really plain, but there's a lot of things you can do to spice it up. So close this, go to your sampler track. I can get rid of the tuner now if I want. So go to your sampler track and just start adding effects. Try to get like some sort of cooler sound. I like to bus out to add reverb and delay. So I'm gonna send it out bus one, control, uh, sorry, option click this little volume knob so that it sends it all the way out to bus one. So bus one's coming right here, on my aux one. So if I go to setting up here, there's all these sort of cool like presets if you click setting up here for sounds. So multi effects, delay and reverb. See now it's really delayed out, but I don't want too much. So I'm gonna kinda just play as I bring this up. Instantly way cooler. That's pretty much it. Um, you wanna get a little more advanced, go back into the SX24. See, it says poly right here. That means that if I play more than one note at a time, you'll hear all of those. So a poly is like, if I can play, I can play chords with this. If it's mono, which I like to do for bass a lot, um, only one sound will play at any given time. So you can, they won't be like layered. I'm gonna play a little part real quick. Another thing I like to do is put a chorus on. Uh, modulation chorus. It just kind of like gives a little bit of the sound a little bit of movement so it don't get too repetitive. And then it also kind of opens it up a little bit on the stereo spectrum, which is good for a lot of sounds because you want your vocals to be in the middle, right? 
You want to make beats that people want to rap to, so widen out your sounds. I already got a dope loop right here. And don't forget to save your sound if you come up with something you like, something dope. Um, go here, click save as, and I'll call this one bottle pop. So if you keep doing this, eventually you build a library of a bunch of dope sounds that nobody else has really because you probably recorded this sound yourself. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Like and subscribe for more tutorials. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I respond as quickly as I can. A lot of more tutorials coming soon. A lot of good shit in the works.